Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. This is Ambi. Today let us talk about Python loops. Uh, we will talk about two types of loops, for and while loops. So that is Python loops, for and Okay, so rename control A, control C, cancel. Code, markdown, and okay. So what are loops? Let's say you want to perform a function or an activity and there's a list of items and all of them you want to perform this activity. That is when you use loops. This is also called a control flow in Python. So should I put it loops or control flow? Okay, all right. There are two types of loops, for and while. Let's look at for loop. Let's go for the function range zero to nine. Range function, what it does is it gives you a range of numbers. When you say range, always in Python, when you define a range, a starting point or ending point, your starting point is zero and ending point is nine. So what that means is start from zero, the left item, that is start point is always included, right is excluded. Start included and excluded. So it is zero to eight. If I print list, let's say, I will say r equals range zero to nine, and, and then I will say list r, okay? As you can see, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is not there. Just to remember that, okay? So let's say I will do, I don't have to print r. Let's say lr is equal to list, list r that is list of range then i have tr is tuple r that is tuple of range sr is set r set of range so let me print out LR, TR, SR, right? It's a list, tuple, ta, and it's a set. Now loop through a list. Loop, I say for uh, loop through a list. Go to code, go to markdown, shift enter here. Very easy for item in LR, print R. Oops, print item, yep. For item in R, print item. I can also say just I here, I can, let's do that same thing, loop through, let me make it really, really small here. Follow through to a tuple. Yeah. For I in TR, print I. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's do the same thing for a set now. Control A, Control C, Control V, set, markdown. 
a bit different maybe, right? For i in sr print i into 2. Yeah? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. The code I'm writing here is very simple. Here the intention is to show how to do a for loop, not like how to use it or what kind of uh, use case scenarios are there. That is up to you. I mean, if you know how to use a loop while or for, when you face a problem which can be solved with it, you will automatically know. So the iteration happens the same way for list tuple set. Let's define another one, uh, ls1. I'm gonna define a list here, one, two, three, and ls2 is one comma two comma three, I want to say zip ls2 ls1 I'm going to take all of this control a control c I'm going to say dictionary and here so I got a dictionary one one two two three three right so let me save this control a control c I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna store this in DC. So what I will do here is for I in DC, print I. What happened? It's printing only keys, not the values. What if you wanna do all of them? So you might remember if you wanna list a key value pair in a dictionary, this is how you do. Dictionary dot items parenthesis will list all the key value pairs so yep this is how we do for key value in DC I mean you can say XY or whatever KV but for the sake of clarity I'm going to use key value DC dot items print key value as you can see control a control C I'm going to say K V. I will say K V. Same thing. Doesn't make a difference what key, uh, what names do you use here? They are just reference. Let's talk about while loop. Hmm. while loop okay so let's say n equals zero what i am going to do is while y, uh, n well, n greater than nine print n yeah n equals n plus one Interesting, it's not, okay, I think I just froze the kernel. I hope I didn't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so, the spelling mistake here, typo. So, n, I'm setting a value n equals zero, while n less than nine, print n and add one to n. So first time it checks and sees that a condition is true, n is less than nine because n is zero, right? It prints n and adds one to n. So n became one now. And again, it goes through the loop and checks whether n is still less than nine. Prints n, adds one. It keeps on doing it till this condition is true. As soon as this condition becomes false, that is n equals 9, 
because n is no more less than 9 now, then it stops looping through it. There is a dangerous way to this. Let me show you here. Hmm. I might, I don't know. I don't know how to show it without actually trying to, without breaking my browser. Mm, okay, let me, let's say console. Yep, let's put it in the console here, file. To print, I think I'm gonna regret this. Print one. Print hey, okay. Oh, I don't know. Pause. Okay, so if I shift into here, okay. Obviously, I missed a bracket there because I'm a bit squared. Uh, but I'm gonna freeze the browser. As you can see, see it's just printing hey, 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 right? I'm gonna close this console. Okay, it did not freeze. Let me do one more. Right. Mm, n is zero while it's an end it's called end this loop okay you can do uh, these for maybe you want to endlessly monitor something as soon as something comes up you want to take some action as soon as you know in your server some error occurs you want to take some action so this is how you do that while true print n and do n equals n plus one, yeah? As you can see, it's just going on and on and on, okay? I'm gonna close this console, okay. So that is called an endless loop. I suggest you use that carefully. While true, print hello. I'm going to say break here. Uh, without this, it will enter an infinite loop. If you want to check whether that's the case, uh, you can open up a, just a separate terminal and run this without this break and see what happens. Oops. Yep, while true. Okay, so that's what while does while. So we can also do this one liner. Print hello break. So I'm gonna give you this. So open up a terminal, do this, and see what happens. Just see how I did this entire thing into one liner. You can do that with for loop as well. Okay, so I think that's all I had for uh, loops. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one.